I have to apologize. The first runner-up is Columbia. Miss Universe 2015 is Philippines. And the winner is La La Land. <laughs> all right, all right, enough. Enough of the funny business. Yeah, having some uh, glitchy glitchies tonight. It's okay, we'll get through it. You gotta trust us, believe in us. You know, this has never been done before. Let's not forget that we're doing something here with you. You and us together, creating a live stream like this with over one million people in this very moment together, staring at their phones around the world, playing trivia game to win money. It's like the coolest thing that's ever been done. So yeah, it's hard to do sometimes. We're doing it, we're getting through it. Thank you for sticking with us. You know how this whole thing is, you know who I am. I'm the Hebrew Steve Harvey, Scott Roglitschke. And third time's a charm here tonight on HQ. We have a lot of people still staying with us. Thank you, Tiffany and Sean and Isabel Ontario, Capellia and Cynthia, Kylo for being such a good boy. Our Audi or Audi, I don't know if you're a car. Disco Brett, KJ Kingston, Alicia Oliveira, Ashley Long in Halifax, Caitlin Wilton, Professor Drill, Dill, Tara Severino in Kalamazoo, Snick Tack, who reminds us it's it's National Corrections Week, in addition to Nursing Week and Teacher Day, National Correction Officers Week. It's a very dangerous job. CEOs don't get recognized enough. So we see you. Stay safe. But also please like don't abuse anybody. Uh, we have so much fun tonight with this quiz. Your big prize tonight is 2,500 days between 2,500 Desolation Rose, $2,500. Yes, we're mixing the prizes up this week. Tonight is 2,500. That's enough to cure Dupree of his Diamond Blues. Everyone's doing that HQ rag tonight. Are you ready to go into the quiz tonight once again merrily we roll along let's all get down to the nitty-gritty let's get the show on the road with 1.12 million of you at cumero numero uno which of these is a common type of apple bird's nest soup red delicious or octopuses common kind of apple bird's nest soup this question is sponsored by the national apple growers association of america you, you should know it by now. Third time's the charm on Red Delicious Apples. Yes, Red Delicious. And yes, we do have 1,101,591 of you who aren't falling far from the tree tonight. You weren't fooled by the bird's nest soup or the octopuses. You're getting cute too. What do the first two letters in PE teacher stand for? Pizza eater, party expert, or physical education? 1.1 million. If you are a PE teacher, thank you for your work this week. You're teaching physical education. Let's get physical, physical, and also let's get quizzical, quizzical. 1,092,507. Remember this from the previous two times we asked it, and you're getting Q3. Pitch correction technology is better known by what name? Pitchy dog, sing sing, or auto tune? I can repeat my joke about. Pitch correction technology being a uh, Tommy John surgery. That was kind of funny. Shout out all the pitching coaches out there. Rick Peterson. T-Pain knows this one, though. Auto-tune. You know it, too. We're going to auto-tune at Q3 because, again, we asked this before. 1,065,432. Sing it with me, dog. You're getting Q4. According to official rules, in which of these games do players have to state the game's title? Twister, Uno, or Scrabble? Twist and shout, twist and shout. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, baby now. Come on now. Come on now. Uno. I have Uno. You got to yell Uno in the game of Uno to win Uno. You got me? Uno's your answer at Q4. Scrabble, Twister, no. 984,168 are twisting and shouting to Q5 right now, right now. What insect lends its name to the concept that tiny actions can have massive consequences? Ant, butterfly, or mosquito? Yes, we might have experienced this tonight. Who knows if restarting the game led to a butterfly effect, which could lead to all sorts of untold mysteries in our near future. 
butterfly is the insect here. 672,524 are flying on with me on gossamer wings to Q6. You don't know this one. Which cooking term describes cutting food into matchstick-like strips? Mince, bavaroise, or julienne? Mince, bavaroise, julienne. Ah, mincing basically means chopping those suckers as tiny as you can. Bavaroise is a creamy pudding. But julienne is the name of a girl I hooked up with sophomore year and also describes the cutting of food into short, thin Strips, 517,782 are slicing and dicing their way to Q7 tonight. Where's the smallest bone in the human body located? Ear, foot, or nose? And I'm going to purposely ignore all the obnoxious comments in the chat on this one to tell you that the smallest bone in the body is in fact the stapes, the third of three ossicles found in your middle ear. Ear is the answer. HQDs, lend me your ears here. 391,030 of you are going to be dancing and shaking your bones on to Q8 in a famous Broadway musical to which of these does 525,600 refer? Steps, minutes, or rent? Famous Tony Award winning sensation became a movie. It's the hit song from that hit Broadway show Rent. It's the name of the show. But even in New York City where the rent is too damn high, it ain't that high. 525,600. How do you measure measure a year? In 525,600 minutes. Moments so dear. Also in daylights, in sunsets, in midnights, in cups of coffee. 266,381 are saying, how about love? Bow, bow. How about Q9? Who was the first woman nominated on a major party's presidential ticket in the U.S.? Ann Richards, Geraldine Ferraro, or Shirley Chisholm? I get a niner in there. Q9 tonight. Ann, Jerry, or Shirley? Shirley, you can't be serious. I am serious. Shirley Chisholm is not the answer. Geraldine Ferraro was Walter Mondale's running mate in 1984, though she lost a legendary landslide to Reagan and Bush. There have been two other women on major party tickets since then. 150,342. New Jerry Ferraro. And you're getting Q10. Where's the beef? It's right here. The director of what classic film also had a cameo in the Muppet movie? Raiders of the Lost Ark, The Godfather, or Citizen Kane? The Muppet movie. What's a Muppet? Well, it's not quite a mop, and it's not quite a puppet, but man. <laughs> so to answer your question, I don't know. Orson Welles played a Hollywood executive who takes a meeting with the Muppets in the Muppet movie. And Orson, of course, the director of F for Fake and Citizen Kane. Oh, and look at this, my Citizen HQDs. We have a savage Q10. At Q10, we just lost... 120,000 of you. Oh, the HQ Manity. We're down to 33,683 magnificent HQDs who are going to be journeying into Q11. Rosebud, which of these words is an example of a national demonym? Sinhalese, Basoto, or Solomonic? What's a demonym, you ask? Well, that's the thing you got to know to answer the question. The Sinhalese people and the language they speak are... As Sinhalese as the day is long, but someone from Sri Lanka is known as a Sri Lankan. Sinhalese describes the people. Sri Lankan is the demonym. Solomonic has nothing to do with the Solomon Islands. It means wise or otherwise like King Solomon. But the two million or so residents of Lesotho are called the Basotho. The Basotho in Lesotho. And another savage question at Q11. Back to back, Jax. Yes, sir, Bobby. 9,098. Surviving this one, losing nearly 30,000 of you there as we cruise into Q12. The final question of the night. Finally, third time was the charm. It all boils down to this for the 9,098 of you competing for $2,500 as the night turns into day. Q12. Which of these authors has reportedly sold the most books overall? Danielle Steele, Agatha Christie, or J.K. Rowling? Oh, we're getting lit at Q12. Getting litty up in here. I mean, who sold more books than Harry Potter creator J.K. Rowling? Both these other ladies did. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Danielle can boast over 500 million sales, but 500 million isn't cool. 
You know what's cool? Two billion. That's how many crime novels Dame Agatha Mary Clarissa Christie has pushed over the past century. And 2,623 are our big, 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 big winners tonight, baby! You did it! You stayed up all night with us! And 2,623 of you actually won HQ. It was all worth it, wasn't it, folks? For that 95 cents or 96 to Sup Zane. What's up, Zane? Dill Pickley. J.C. Elson. Maybe J. Clausen or something. Had a money, a dog with glasses. I love it. And humans with glasses. And so many more of you. Perhaps some first-time HQ winners tonight. Perhaps repeat champions. Welcome back to the Winner Circle, if that's the case. Or welcome to the Winner Circle. Yeah, it's a big circle. The circle's pretty wide tonight, but you're still part of it. Thank you for sticking with us. Seriously, like I said at the top of the show, uh, what we're doing here, it really is science fiction made real today in 2018, and you're a big part of it. So thank you for joining us, being part of the largest live stream tonight. Come back tomorrow at 3 p.m. Could be a big, big game tonight. We're Again, we're, we're not telling you exactly what the prize is until the time of the show. A little mystery prize week here on HQ. So definitely tune in to 3 p.m. tomorrow. Yeah, until then, I'm Scott Roglitsky signing off tonight. No, Scott Roglitsky's dead. It's Scott Rogowski saying, that's not a leather muppet. That's Troy McClure. <laughs>